not the first time and probably not the last time we'll hear from him. He looks very focused right now and ready to make a point. He's not going to keep us waiting, so let's find out. Yeah, he's got something to say, all right. Just a bully. Poking the bear. Not exactly likable. Just a bully. This place is electric after that. Yeah, man, this is going to be a night to remember. Oh, I'm sure. There's no doubt that everyone in this capacity arena is behind that statement, partner. What night it has been at Night of Champions so far. Despite what that says, it was actually Sheamus that won for six mana. Battle Royal, who went on to face Rusev and lost as the Bulgarian Brute once again showed his dominance. Also tonight, Sami Zayn was able to make Kevin Owens tap out. Massive, fact, massive and surprising. Also speaking about massive wins, Chris Jericho was able to topple Hideo Atami. Now apparently he didn't just want to win. He wanted to punish Atami. So after the match, he just decided to attack the defensive superstar. Chris Jericho becoming very heelish and very devious these days. Despite what the announcers said, it's still WWE Tag Team Champions for New Day, not the new Tag Team Champions. BK and Kofi Kingston doing it for the new day as their title reign goes on. As I mentioned, the Rusev with a dominant victory over Sheamus. And speaking of dominant, Sasha Banks dominated Charlotte here tonight. Incredible. She went for the Banks hit twice, but Charlotte had her feet on the ropes both times. But then 
it's it. Shasha got a roll up on Shada as she was charging at her and got the free count. So, history has been made here tonight as Sasha Banks is not only a two time women's champion, but Charlotte has finally lost a title match on pay-per-view after a year. Well, now that's it. Apparently, saying that the next pay-per-view, which is Hell in a Cell, should be named Lord Dallas. Alright, bro. Alright. Now we get serious because now it is time for our main event. Two weeks ago, Big Cass won a fatal four-way for the vacant WWE Universal Championship, proving that dreams can indeed come true in one of the biggest shocks you will see in WWE history. Then, last week, Roman Reigns won a triple threat, which became a singles match between himself and Seth Rollins to earn the chance to be here tonight and take on Big Cat for the WWE Universal Championship. So, in the biggest match of Big Cat's career since two weeks ago when he won the Universal Championship, with his buddy Enzo at ringside this time, can Big Cass pull off another upset in the history books and defeat the three-time world champion in Roman Reigns? Or will Roman be victorious and become a Universal Champion? Reigns, Big Cass, Universal Championship, coming up next. The following contest is scheduled for one fall, and it is for the WWE Universal Championship. Well, this guy looks eager to add some gold around his waist. Let's see if he can do it. We're finally going to see which one of these two is the superior competitor. Your 
good good when I'm ready. You so much forget. I'm walking away. And for our so-called opponents tonight, we have one word to describe them. And I'm gonna spell it out for you. Introducing the challenger from Pensacola, Florida, weighing in at 265 pounds, Roman Reigns. Introducing the champion from Queens, New York, weighing in at 276 pounds, he is the WWE Universal Champion. There is so much respect between these two. This is going to be one for the record books. Collar and elbow tie up here. Oh, this is critical for a competitor in establishing themselves in the match. He's certainly showing us something new from his repertoire. That's cool. I like new stuff. Look at that, Cole. <laughs> what is in Colin Cassidy's mind right now? What can we expect from him in this championship match? Take it from me, it's not easy defending the gold night in and night out, but somehow the champ does it with grace. Or by cheating in your case. Well, well, no matter how hard he's trained or how much he wants to win here, the other guy in the ring is going to have a lot to say about how things go. What makes Roman Reigns such a lethal entity is he possesses the power to dominate an opponent of any size, the athleticism to add speed to his attack in a ferocity that makes him a relentless instrument of destruction. Well, there's no doubt about it, Cole. Roman Reigns' abilities, the strength, the agility, and his unyielding intensity really makes him a devastating weapon. Very curious move to go for a pinfall at this point, right, Ken? Yeah, this guy's got too much energy left in him. Big Cass starting to stumble a bit here. But he's the champ for a reason. It's going to take a whole heck of a lot more to stop him here tonight. Come on, you and I both know that a little adversity isn't going to end this guy's night. In fact, it might make him stronger. We've seen Roman Reigns devastate an opponent with power moves that would normally be reserved for two men performing a double-team maneuver on a beaten opponent. hurt before it certainly is now and it's going to be hurting for a while whoa now it's roman reigns on his heels this could be the start of an ugly downward spiral colin cassidy looking to end this quickly he's got plenty of gas left in his tank you're right he kicked out with ease roman reigns varies his assault but he always brings it back to his power game the effect of his speed, agility, and crushing strikes on an opponent are all intensified because there is such brute force behind everything he hits you with. One move after the other. It's devastating. This is hard to watch. This is going to be bad. Oh, 
I don't remember the last time he executed that maneuver. A oh, quick pin. Can he do it? Maybe. And a kick out. Much to nobody's surprise. All right. This guy's resilient. He's not even beat down yet. Oh, a reversal. Oh. A powerful belly to belly suplex. was a hard, hard shot. What a fist drop. more can this monster take and you have to wonder how much the challenger can sustain at this point well these guys have been so tightly matched up until now but this might be where that finally starts to change guys come on let's not get too crazy here we've seen that he can absorb a heck of a lot of punishment and still keep coming second time's a charm my god his body's been through hell and his ribs have bore the brunt of the attack and i hope we can get a doctor out here as a precaution Damaged ribs like that can make it hard to breathe. You better be careful. Oh, oh man, right on the back of his head. Colin Cassidy putting it on him right now. Oh, great move. <laughs> Somehow, he's kicked it into another gear here tonight. He's inflicting some serious pain here. Well, big boot from Big Cass. Ow. He's just getting done. It could be over here. Yeah, maybe. In the kick out. Yeah, can you believe it? After the amount of punishment he suffered, it's simply amazing that he's still in this one. Boy, he is really tired now. That tank of his has to be reading empty. It has to be, King. But I still don't see him giving up. It's nearly impossible to deal with this type of power. Two, three, this thing has managed to come to an end. Wow. That's a commanding win. That's the kind of win that makes you feel good about yourself. Good night, everybody. This is incredible. This is absolutely incredible. Not only did Big Cass somehow successfully defend the Universal Championship, but he looked dominant doing it as well. Big Cass still the WWE Universal Champion. The dream lives. The dream lives. Thank you for watching what was quite an incredible Night of Champions. I've been Chelsea92G and thanks for watching.